Hey Pilots Plasma 1945 unboxing of sorts as I got some swag that was unexpected of actual Soviet memorabilia from Ukraine. That's right. I had a uh, letter come in from Ukraine and it had a series of metal plates. Uh, there was a bit of confusion as to what the metal plates could have been. But these were from a town called Mukachevo, which actually hosted a Cold War Soviet interceptor airbase. Now that interceptor base hosted MiG-29s, which we can fly in DCS world. These are photos from 87 through 93. And Soviet Union guys did really love their black and white photos. And here's the hangars and the base in operation in Mukachevo. And for those who are interested, I will be giving away some of the swag. You just have to tell me what kind of an aircraft this is in the comments. Share, subscribe to this video. And I will tell you that this aircraft was not based there, but it was flying to France. All right, let's go through Google Earth and I'll show you where the town of Mukachevo and Mukachevo Air Base if you look here, it's right in the center of the map here. And as you can see, when Soviet Union existed, Ukraine and this airbase would have been the furthest west place that wasn't a Warsaw Pact country that was actually part of Soviet Union. With Romania to the south, Hungary and Czechoslovakia, now Slovakia to the west. And this would have been a very important airbase because it was within the territory of Soviet Union. As much as Soviet Union liked its Warsaw Pact countries, there was never full trust. So this would have been sort of the last bastion of Soviet Union. And the 92nd and the 486th Interceptor Squadron, which flew in World War II, was hosted here all the way through the end of the Cold War. Apparently, there were even MiG-25s and possibly 31s that used this airbase for support landings, but it mainly hosted the MiG-29s which would have enjoyed that short runway. Also, it could take civilian aircraft. You can see uh, Airflot plane landing there. So we've got some historical footage here we can look at, going back to the early 2000s. As you can see, after the end of Soviet Union, this airbase became not very popular and fell into disrepair and disuse, unuse. And as we move forwards through time, we can actually see some of the Hangars were still available there in the corner of the airbase. So these would have been reinforced concrete hangars for the MiG 29s. And there would have been some additional earth berm positions for the Soviet aircraft there. This is uh, very similar to like the Makop airbase we would see in DCS world. As we move through the 2000s, the airbase really did fall into disrepair. There was hope that it would become an airport, but unfortunately, it was sold off to a private investor and now it's kind of turned into dirt, but who knows with things happening in the world, maybe it will be used by the F-16s if it can be rebuilt. Let's jump back to the original topic and that is the swag and the stuff that I got here. So we have got some civilian and mostly combat wings and medals. And what's funny is later on, I was actually able to find a couple of extra wings in an online retailer in Scotland of all places and I got those sent to me. Now I have to send them back to Ireland because that's where one of our squad mates is. So we've got some Red Star patches that we'll be sending these out with. Now, and what I'll do is I'll actually give away a couple of these to subscribers who leave a comment and tell me what their favorite Soviet jet is. And let's check out the swag that we've got here. Our first piece here is the 30th anniversary medal for the Soviet interceptor squadrons. I don't know the history of this medal. I couldn't find it, but this piece here, the excellence of air forces with the propeller symbol was put in place in the 1950s and is basically a well done medal from the air force. Then we've got a navigator and a pilot set of wings from Soviet civilian aviation. They've got the gold and they've got the blue and, and uh, the star. And then we go into the air defense PVO medal. And this is for those who were air defenders. We can see actually in the background, the Kremlin wall and the star of Kremlin. This would have been very useful for that drone that got through to the Kremlin. All right, and then we've got the actual pilot wings. This is the grade three pilot. 
who would have had to put 300 hours on all interceptor aircraft. And then we've got the strike bomber, the striker medals. And the grades are three, two, and one, with one being the highest grade possible. These medals were instated in the early 50s. And as you can see, some of them are quite worn out and some of them are in a much better condition than others. But definitely very big pieces of history here that did end up getting sent to me and I really appreciate getting these ones. I got a couple of extra ones after the fact, like I said, in Scotland. And I think this is actually a civilian captain set of wings. I don't know if this is Russian or Soviet, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments.